We're having a little gas water problem. So I'm trying to document it and see if anybody can help me out. This is the front of boat where the gas comes in. Uh, I have a little hatch to access where the gas inlet is coming in. And that's right there. Looks pretty good. Coming over here and seeing, not sure what that wire is. I know that wire goes to the lights that leads into that PVC tube for the lights. And that other tube is the vent, which on the outside of the boat is right there. Where is it? Why am I zoomed in so much? Right there. There's the vent. And that's what that black hose is over there. All right. And follow that down into the depths of the boat where I can't access anymore. Can't see that too well, but with my phone, I'm gonna be angled through there. Seems like it's all encased in this foam material, which could be a problem. So, all right, so let's follow that to where it goes. So from there, it goes under the boat. So dark, I can't see. Anyway, it goes inside the center console to over here. And I have a little bit of a gas smell as I'm inside the center console right now. Got all my wiring coming out from the front of the center console, steering cables and wires and everything. And to give you a point of reference, this is my console. And the hose on the left is that vent hose. Hose on the right is the fill hose. I'm gonna rotate this, hopefully not be too dizzy. All right, that's a better picture of the vent hose wrapped in some grounding wire that is attached to that plate. Looks like a grounding plate. I'm not sure what that wire is for though. Some type of a gauge maybe, but that's not my fuel gauge. All right, so inside the workings of the tank, Oh, I've got a good view now with the light in there. So it looks like that tank extends pretty well into the front of the boat under the console. Doesn't look like it's packed in too much foam. There's my vent and fill tube, and then the PVC. <coughs> Some more uh, conduit wires going under and through the hull. So, it doesn't look too bad. I don't see any leaks or corrosions yet. Change my angle a little bit. I'm not gonna be able to see this. It's hard to get to this spot, but let's see here. We have to look at this afterwards and what we're looking at, but this is the reverse of that angle. Um, let's see. I have another hatch here. I don't know if you can see my fingers moving in the camera, but this is the fill, uh, the gas gauge area. I'm just kind of rotating around slowly so that I can identify if there's any corrosion or leaks in this tank anywhere that are visible from this angle. It's hard to get a good visual. These tight spaces. All right, so that's where I just was putting my hand in this hatch. This hatch is the, I changed this <clears throat> last year. That's the uh, sender to send the signal to the fuel gauge, which is right here. Sorry if I'm flipping and making everybody dizzy watching this, but that's the fuel gauge. When I turn the key on, it should give me an indicator of the fuel level, and it doesn't. Why isn't that working? I 
All right, that's odd. I have to keep that in mind that it doesn't look like the fuel gauge is working right now. So something is wrong there. Try that one more time. Usually that goes up when I turn the key partially. Huh. All right, so there's a little little bit of a clue to what may be the problem. I could have an issue when I when I did this myself. I could have created a problem, I don't know. This was very kind of dirty and corroded all in here, but I cleaned it for the best I can. I think, I think the cap that goes over this, I know everything's kind of dirty here, but I think the seal around the rim may have been letting water come in here and, you know, causing this, you know, dirt and corrosion. It could use another vacuuming cleanup. Anyway, here is my fuel line that goes directly to the engine. This is a this is a shutoff valve, so that would be off in that position and on in that position. But there's a pretty clear shot. Let me see if I can get in underneath that at all with this light. Not very clear, is it? the hose and it's not very clear where that goes but I know where it comes out in the back underneath the hatch I'll get to that in a minute let me just do a 360 around this area to see if there's any corrosion so this is would be with the boat at 12 o'clock this would be angling 6 o'clock and I'm rotating around lost my focus there Rotating around, we're at three o'clock right now with regard to the fuel tank and the front of the boat. Not sure what that big tube is right there. Oh, that's the uh, that's the PVC tube that lets all those wires probably go through underneath. Nope, that's the PVC tube that lets the uh, fuel gauge. Right there, we're right about 12 o'clock now. See, we're right over that sender. 12 o'clock pointing to the front of the tank as best I can. Rotating back around to this side. Again, looking for any corrosion that I can see. That's obviously leaking fuel. All right, I don't see any problems, but it's hard to tell with my angle. That's 9 o'clock, and then... We get back to our fuel line that goes to the back of the boat. Not sure what I'm showing you right now because I'm just angling it up. But I know one of those hoses is the bilge, and one hose might be the gas line that's coming in. Yeah, there's the gas line that I followed right there. Let's see if we get any footage back in here. That's the bilge hose and the gas hose. Looks like it's encased in some type of foam material. Do last check just to see. Uh, that's like the under 
under the boat bilge. This little hole I can stick my phone right here and see what may be back in there. I don't know. That's facing 12 o'clock towards the front of the boat right there. That's oh, pretty dirty. Sorry my boat is so dirty and nasty, but... All right, so that's a summary of what may be going on in the fuel system. Hopefully somebody can help me out after seeing this video. I don't know if something is corroded or a gas tank is having a problem, but I'm getting a, an occasional uh, fumes, like gas smell fumes coming out of this area or maybe this area here. And apparently there was some water in the fuel, which is another problem so um, and, and another problem that I'm seeing right now is this fuel gauge sending unit obviously is not uh, sending